together. What do we find? Oh. Find oh, enemies. Look okay. out. Like there was a coal bowl, but I didn't get a good look. Is there anything up there? I don't think so. Dinier, do you and Minsk require some privacy? No, Jahira. The plans we are making are not of secretive nature. I only wanted to tell you, now that we have more people in the party, that there is no need for Minsk to keep watch while you sleep. You can sleep together, at the same time, I mean, while Khalid and I keep watch, and in turn you and Minsk can keep watch while we, er, um, sleep. Tis very kind of thee, Jahira. Thou art ever so attentive to everyone else's needs. Indeed. Khalid and I can give you tips for setting up your resting area for privacy needed for meditation, spell preparations, and the like, and still reasonably in touch with everyone else. We do have much field experience in this area. I appreciate thy advice, but all the same we would keep to our past vigils. However, I would like to ask a favor of thee. Yes? I would like that extra bedroll from thine store. Mine is full of crumbs. I suspect that Mint sets Boo to guarding me again. Alas. <laughs> Oh, boo. You are the best miniature giant space hamster. I think a cairn. Cloud Peak Mountains. That I did know. Touch me not! You are unclean. Uh oh. Travelers from the north, halt. We trespass quite deep into Amish territory. Perhaps you've come to spy upon our supposed troop buildup. It's quite funny, the stupid notion so you northern barbarians can get stuck in your heads. Who are you and what do you want? I am Sendai, of the noble merchant house of Argrims, foremost family in Amun. Delgad, Alexander, and I have come out here to hunt game, but perhaps you would make for better sport. I assume you would have no problem with this. What kind of monster would hunt his fellow human like a wild animal? Of course I was not serious. What I said, I didn't jest. You with your barbarian mentality would of course misconstrue my meaning. Carried with just being fed up with this kind of treatment, says, Sure, lady, we'll be going now. Goodbye, peasants. I wish you luck on your journey. You'll probably need it. So... Herod not giving in to his desire to to yell at that uh, snooty uh, noble woman from Amun. As tempting as it would have been. They did look well armed, and uh, the party isn't in the best condition, so it may have been wise not to pick a fight. Oh no. Oh wait, it's Rufy. He's in hostile, is he? Oh no, he's in neutral. Hey, Rookie. Rookie has nothing to say to you. Hmm, not the most talkative dog in the world, but we found him. Come on, Rookie. Of course. Right, isn't he following us? There you go. Cold plate Give me and Rufy. steel. This way. Yeah. Skeletons. Oh crap! And they have bows. Oh, this is bad. Can I hit none of them? Oh, butt kicking for goodness! For the group. I wouldn't dream of it. As directed. I can do nothing. Butt kicking for goodness! Easy. Running into considerably better arms, skeletons. I'm gone. Bows. I don't know what kind of bows? They look like composite bows.
Composite imp bows indeed. I think those are fairly valuable to find. Alright, come on, Rufy. This way. I think the kid was over here somewhere. Oh, yep, there he is. Come here, Rufy. Oh, yes. You funny looking! Rufy! Who's your fuzzy Rufy? Who's your fuzzy little guy? Thank you just ever so much. I better take this lost little puppy home right away. Here, take this. It's another of his two things, but we can get more where we're going. Thanks again. Time to go home, Rufy. You'll like the Nine Hells much better than these gold climbs. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. okay. Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed carefully. <laughs> Kelly's saying, Phew! A cynical old t -t tutor of mine once said, No g -g good d -d -d deed goes unpunished. I'm starting to b believe him. That is the reason your goodness should be grounded in the balance of nature. You are not then concerned with punishment or reward. C quite. I do wonder, though, if it was to, to exactly the sort of situation to which your own t -t teaching referred. So, finding a demon, it's dog, that was masquerading as a child. Oh, that's a little disturbing. What did it give us? Huh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, gaining experience. Party has lost an item, party has gained experience. I don't think we actually gained anything. We just got experience for <laughs> doing uh, a very peculiar quest. I um, rescued little Rufy and returned him to the child named Albert. Albert. I do not wish to know where they went. With luck, I will never find out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Alright, so we explored roughly half this area. There's still the area east of the river, which we have yet to explore. You point my bunch. But, uh, we're out of healing magic, we're running low on potions, and the party is badly hurt. Um, I think it might be wise to rest. So, we'll move up here, make uh, the situation look a little more defensible, and save it. Check our spell books. Mm. Always as well as it can be at the point, at this point. And resting. Okay. To hear a healing. Sure okay, summoning up some good berries. Let's talk more fun. Full plate and fucking steel. Fun kicking for goodness. Next a servant awaits. Cool the the river at a shallow point. The boat's on the other side. Considering kobolds are small, weak, dog-like uh, humanoids, I guess it would be in our best interest to yes. rush them. Oh, um, so let's do just that. Charge! 
Go for the ice pool! Go for the ice pool! I don't know if without much trouble. What do you want? Fucking arrows or short bows? I don't know if there's one who actually... No, Minsky uses bows too, but I think he's got plenty of arrows. Yeah, he does. Okay. Squeaky wheel gets the kick! Alright, following the eastern edge of the river. So far...